house music, you know, it's as exciting as ever, you know, especially especially electronic music, you know, I feel like England's always like got the kind of cutting edge of electronic music going on and really kind of vibrant scene, so lots of like good like young producers and stuff around. And Playing music and making it, is, it feels really good. It's uh, one of the, when you make something good or when you drop a new good record to a load of people, it's, it feels excellent. Like there's nothing like it. The best thing I saw was Kanono number no. one, which is amazing. Like I, I have one of those thumb pianos that I'm bare at home. I'm learning to play really slowly, but they're amazing. This, I think I can never be like musical, the way they play it, the rhythm they have between them, they're just a really incredibly good band. And yeah, I love it. It's like inspiring to see that like a groove like that is universal and there are all kinds of different people dancing to it in the crowd and that's a good thing for me. Like. Uh, I'm going to see Omar Suleiman, that's the thing I'm looking forward to. So. <laughs> My best year was the year I wasn't playing and me and my girlfriend came and we just had the best time walking around. We saw the horrors, Mogwai, Venez, I can't remember who else, a load of people. We saw loads of bands, it was like the greatest day, like wandering around, the sun going down when Mogwai were playing, it was beautiful, like really, that was the best, really, like, it's best to enjoy it like everybody else enjoys it. <laughs> This is brilliant. It's really, it's like civilized, but it's also wild and free, and everyone's having a really liberated good time. It's a shame about the police dogs on the entrance. I think that's over the top. <laughs> First one was the best one for me. You know, like just felt exciting. Like Tom, who organised a good friend of mine, and see him put on a festival. You know, it was mental. You know, like uh, do something so big. You know, so I, I like to work with the computer. That's what's worked out best for me. You know, that's the way. It's the way I feel I can like put something. Forward or this a bit more kind of original and unique, you know, I find. But, you know, I think the ideas are the main thing. Like, the tool you use, you just have to use what feels most natural to you. But it's all about ideas at the end of the day. For me, particularly, I really hate music that sounds like it's made in a computer, on a grid, everything in its right place, mixed really effectively. I hate that. So Kanono number one, it's like really the opposite. It's like really live and you can tell they're feeling it rather than they've programmed a feeling or something. It's like a genuine... Like a, the thing that makes you dance is the most impossible thing to... There's no like, there's no good academic studies of it because it's impossible to quantify, to work out what's good about a groove or what makes, what works, what connects with people, and they, it's just natural, and those musicians have it naturally. Respect to them. to doing like a DJ thing with James Holden and yeah, I haven't played in the bugged out tent before and I've always wanted to so yeah it should be like good fun and hopefully it's not going to rain in a minute. So. When I made my first records, I didn't know very much about music, and I was young, and 
and that's special. It's like a, I can't criticize it because the music of a young person, like naive music, is the most beautiful thing. Like I wish I could be naive again, but I can't. I'm 30, so now my music is informed by knowing much more about music, being bored of the old tricks and the old cliches that make you feel good, and trying to find new ways of making people react. And it's like a I sort of look back, I'm proud, but it's like a different person made it, really. Like, when I was 18, I was a different, completely different person. And it's, I'm happy I understood that. <laughs> whole record label Border Community is doing is about sort of organic dance music, like music you can dance to, but it isn't dance music, because dance music is a ghetto, it's this really boring conservative world, and we want to dance and hear amazing things, but we don't want to be bored. Dance music has this idea of trying to make the best produced record possible, the most punchy kick drum, the strongest snare, and that's all bullshit because it might work in a club, but when you listen to it at home, it just sounds like it's trying too hard. Like it's like you've got someone there going, "Dance, come on, dance, have a good time, <laughs> come on, this is fun." <laughs> music just fits to your own story, so I don't want to push a story on anyone else. It's, I mean, I could say the music's about my politics and philosophy, but it, it isn't, and it's not really my place to push that philosophy on anyone else either. I still always felt like a producer who DJs, always. And the way I DJ is how a musician would DJ, not how a DJ would DJ. Like it's, a, I'm more interested in the, the musical notes than the, the sort of beat matching and all that stuff. Like, yeah, like I'm at heart, I've always been a producer. For a long time, I almost stopped. And now I'm really back into it and really working really hard on it. And it, it's so much, it's so fulfilling. To make a record is the best thing I've ever done in my life, I think. <laughs> like... I only play back to back with Kieran and there's a guy from Germany called Stefan Benemann and I'll happily play back to back with him. I've nev never been happy playing back to back with anyone else. Like, I don't really like it. And so, before, there was a lot of planning, like, oh, I want to play this, it's 110 BPM, can I, can I play that? And all this sort of working out how we were going to get around all the different tracks we really wanted to play. And, uh, and then the actual set was just really relaxed, like, really free and fun. And yeah, I love playing with Kieran because he's got good taste. <laughs> 